You can see those scratches right there. Lots of evidence of this bull moose fight happening on this property, plus tufts of hair everywhere. First thing I heard was a loud cracking sound. There was a horns were butting against each other. It caught my attention. I turned around and here I saw this huge bull moose horn heading towards me. That was a little bit frightening, especially when I saw the two moose coming towards me. Between you and them, there's not that much space and that much time to cover it. So it's best to exit the scene as quickly as you can. And exit the scene quickly is exactly what Jewel Lake resident Dale Walther did. As these bull moose were fighting Saturday feet away from him, first he ran, then he hid behind a vehicle. Then he ran inside his home. All actions in line with Alaska Department of Fish and Game's advice. Walther says he saw this report, the Alaska Department, which mentioned aggressive moose recommendations. The tips that, that you put on the air last night were very, very helpful. I, you know, I'm glad that I followed some of them instinctively, obviously. The man who captured the entire bull moose fight on camera says it was both terrifying and a moment of admiration. Once I was in a, a place of safety, definitely. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of admiration. You know, they, they, uh, they're majestic animals. They, they really are, you know, just, it's a privilege, I guess, that we can even be able to share the same planet with them in, in a way. From the moment he heard them lock antlers to the end of the fight, Walther captured a moment he'll always remember. They got up and ambled away it was a very, very different situation than when they had gotten to that point. So. Do you think that the moose are closer now that they got into a fight than they have closer friends? <laughs> well, who knows? <laughs> but they, I, I kind of got the impression that the, that the winner was saying to the other, hey, this year it's my turn. Next year you can have your chance. Joe Kadat, Alaska's news source.